Hi, today I want to look at a game where I'm playing black against Israeli Grandmaster Elan Manor. In this position, it is equal material. I have just offered a queen trade with queen g7. How would you respond? Most players would probably play something like queen e3 and try to continue the kingside attack with h5, h takes g6, followed by rook h4. But my grandmaster opponent saw that this had very little chance of working and instead made a very good strategical decision by playing queen takes g7 check, king takes g7, a4. This was very strong and it was only after this move that I realized I may be subject to long arduous defense. My opponent is going to play rook b1 and pile up on my b6 pawn by playing rook b5 and a5. And now rook b8, rook b1, rook b7 followed by rook fb8 with the idea of trying to get a6 and b5 in may have been a better idea. In the game, I played rook fd8, king g2, rook d7, rook b1, rook cd8, rook b5, rook d4, rook e1. My opponent wisely denies me a rook trade, and now I have no counterplay and must defend. Rook d6, a5, rook c6, a takes b6, a takes b6, rook a1, rook d7, rook a6, rook b7. Despite all my pieces being tied up and white controlling the only open file, I still have good resources. Rook a8, h5, rook b1, king f6, rook b a1, and now I think I slightly surprised my opponent by playing king e5, trying to creep in through d4 and c3. My opponent played king f3, king d4, king e2, rook c c7, king d2. What is white's threat in this position? My opponent was threatening to play f4. Rook e1 works the same effect, but white runs the deadly f4, followed by forced checkmate with c3. All the squares around my king are covered, so I quickly avoided this by playing king e5. Rook d8, and now rook d7 was also possible, but I played b5. I'm not sure if this, is a, if this was a mistake, but it did allow white to put pressure on my c5 pawn. C takes b5, rook takes b5, rook e1 check, king f6, rook e4. And now rook a5 may be a better reaction, keep your keen, keen eye on the c pawn. In the game I played rook b2, rook f8, king g7, rook a8, king f6, rook f4 check. And now king e5 with the idea of rook a5, king d5, just protecting the c pawn, was better. Instead I played the inaccurate king g7. Rook a5, rook b6, rook c4. Now white has again installed strong pressure. Now in my isolated c pawn. I have to defend diligently. Rook b c6, king e3, king f6, f3, king e5, g4. Now that my opponent has tied me to the defense of the c pawn, my opponent tries to open up the game on the other side. King d6, g takes h5, g takes h5. Rook f4, f5, rook c4, rook c8, king, c king f4, white creeps in through the holes in my pawn structure. Rook g8, I block the king off from coming to g5. Rook a7, and now rook b6, rook h7, rook b4 is the correct way to seek counterplay. For example, Rook takes b4, c takes b4, rook takes h5, rook c8, and black wins the white c pawn. In the game I played rook g2, rook h5, and now rook b6 was again good, but I played the horrible blunder rook takes c2. I was very low on time, and this is one of those cases where time pressure induces blunders. I didn't see that white's rook could capture my rook at all until my opponent played his next move. Rook takes c2. Luckily, my opponent was getting very low on time as well. I fought on with the hope that my opponent would lose on time. c4, d takes c4, rook c5, rook d2, check king c6, rook e7, rook takes c4, check king g5, king c5, rook takes c6, rook e3, rook e5, check king c4, rook takes f5, 
Rook e3, king takes h5, king c3, king g4, king takes d2. Finally, my prayers are answered and my opponent's flag fell. Of course, my opponent is easily winning in this position with h5, rook e1, h6, rook h1, rook h5, blocking my rook from the defense, and white wins.